Perhaps now is a good time to tell you that the video you're looking at, the visuals have very little to do with the narration. Perhaps it will be smart to simply detach yourself from the narration and write your own script as you look at the visuals. In other words, simply use your own experience and your own sense of appreciation for the simple pleasures of life. Maybe that would be more productive. If, on the other hand, you're still with me, then allow me to indulge in one of my simple pleasures, and that is to share my photographs with you. I had a lot of fun shooting them, and I hope that somehow, perhaps a frame or two, will spark your imagination and bring back a memory, and it'll feel very good. A very popular entertainer died recently and part of showing the glimpse into his lifestyle they showed his shopping habit this entertainer would walk into a store and he would simply point to objects and said i want that i want that i want that and there seemed not to have been any sort of appreciation for the objects that he was purchasing no emotional attachment at all and i thought to myself he was buying these objects simply because he could and i thought how lonely this person must be if he can just frivolously spend two million dollars on an object that has no value to him. What could I have done with that two million dollars? But we were talking about simple pleasures of life. Pleasures such as getting unexpected money in the mail, or for that matter, just getting a letter that you did not expect one that contains good, uplifting, positive news. How about making eye contact with someone from the opposite sex? Doesn't that feel good? What about silence while you're in the company of someone very special? Sometimes silence is golden. I think older couples know exactly what I'm talking about. When they just sit and enjoy each other's company without saying a word. How about a hug from the opposite sex? And then feel an honest response, perhaps just a second or two longer than is expected. That's a simple pleasure. One of my simple pleasures is hearing that very special song on the radio. In my case, it would be a song like Spanish Harlem. It brings back memories of me slow dancing in the basement of our home in Massachusetts. Hmm. I wonder where she is today. For a man, if he wants to be honest, it is seeing bare skin on a beautiful woman, and for a moment that excitement of potentialities stimulating the body and the soul. That's a simple pleasure. The more mundane, but perhaps just as important, if not more important, is a meal when you're hungry or a drink when you're thirsty. Simple pleasures. Important simple pleasures. People watching, just watching people as they walk by and looking at the expression on their face especially when they don't understand or appreciate the fact that that smile on their face. We don't know their private thoughts, but we do appreciate the pleasant expression on their face. Just as, as you watch people walk by, that frown on that person's face. They don't realize that what they're doing is repelling others. They wonder why no one comes to talk to them, and they wonder why people are not friendly towards them, and they don't seem to realize that that frown on their face, that very sour expression, is repelling people. That's not pleasurable, because you know for a fact that you cannot tell them. Another very simple pleasure, and you can fill in the blanks, is your very first time. As a photographer, one of my simple pleasures happened to be being in the middle of a nature preserve, alone. No cars, no noise, no people, just listening to the sounds of nature and the quiet and peace of just being there. Another simple pleasure for me is just touching someone that you love, or perhaps just making someone smile. That's a simple pleasure. How about creating something that has the potential to outlast you, and knowing that you did a very good job? job. Another simple pleasure, of course, is knowing that someone that you like also likes you. You know what? You could probably use this video to do just that. Send this video to someone that you like, and when they receive it, they'll understand the message is very clear, very simple. You're sending it because you like them. What do you think? One of the most underrated simple pleasure, I think, is the freedom 
of not being in the company of an unpleasant person, don't you think? As you listen to my little dissertation on simple pleasures, have you been making your own list of simple pleasures? I bet you have. If you haven't, then perhaps you should. Because in the days to come, this will sustain you. And when everyone else around you is losing his or her head, you can always refer to your lists and be calm. And understand that these simple pleasures are in fact a statement of who you are. And you can take comfort in those simple pleasures. One of my favorite simple pleasure is enjoying a private joke. This video, for example, is a private joke. If you're watching it in the office, the people behind you, especially if you have your headphones on, think that you're watching a nature video. The private joke is, really, the video has very little or nothing to do with nature. Okay, on getting off the subject of poorly produced nature videos, in conclusion, let me say this. One of the most delicious and the most beautiful simple pleasure is that of companionship. Sharing a conversation, for example, without any sense of false modesty. Sharing a conversation without the contamination of dogma. Sharing a conversation without an artificial pompous sense of false morality. That's a simple pleasure.